Okay, hi everyone, this is Jay Holly from Holly Media, and I am just gonna show you guys a quick tutorial on how to uh, add color masks and uh, color correct just certain colors, um, which is very awesome uh, when you wanna isolate something but not you know, saturate the whole image or desaturate the whole image. So uh, in this tutorial, I have uh, a clip from uh, a recent vacation I just took with my wife to Seaside, Florida. And as you can see, awesome image, a lot to work with, nice and flat. But I want to really boost the sky. Um, I want to make that really stand out. So how do I do that? Um, I can go into color correction and saturate it all. But um, I mean, <laughs> that looks great. But for the purpose of this uh, tutorial, I want to just isolate the sky, that blue right there. I want that to really pop. So I will... Um, reset that and I'll come back over here to our color correction and what we want to do is click on this little eyedropper right over here on the right hand side and it'll say add color mask click that that's what you want and then when you hover over your display you'll see the little eyedropper there and what you want to do is then click and you'll start to see that it's it's grabbing that color of blue that shade of blue it's, it's grabbing that whole thing and adding a mask to that color but as you can see on the top um, and on the bottom, it doesn't quite have the whole sky. So in order to grab more, you drag out slowly and you just wanna, and you, as you can see, it's grabbing more, which is great, but you don't wanna overdo it. See, when I overdid it and accidentally touched a different color, which was the post office, I got the entire, pretty much the entire shot except for the green. So right now you're probably thinking, well, you know, how are you gonna get the rest of it? It's really simple. What I do now is I, I leave that there and I'm able to actually keep adding different shades. So when I click the shift button, I can come up here and you'll see a plus symbol and then I can just hold down and you can see that it's added to that. But I still have a little bit to grab um, down in the right hand side. And so I'll just go click there. Um, and as you can see, that's looking really good. I, I seem to have the whole sky and the clouds are cut out um, and, and that's beautiful. So now that I have that selected, you can see over here, it's got all that those shades right there and it's all, all into one thing, um, all into one color correction. And now I can go and manipulate it how I want. So I can go to the saturation and boost this. And you can see the sky is just being manipulated, not the rest of the image. And this really helps create some very stunning images. Uh, I can also go over here and manipulate it a bit if I really want it to be blue or say I just want it to be more of like a uh, whatever, whatever color I want, more of a little bit of a, a purple sky. I'm able to really manipulate the image um, in an awesome way and it can also be fun. Say your sky is a bit too bright or not bright enough. You can go over your exposure, you can drop it, uh, you can raise it. Um, you're able to really uh, even actually jump into some more HDR looking footage. Um, obviously you don't want to do that if you want to keep it realistic, but uh, yeah, it's that simple and this can really help you uh, Take your shots to the next level. So I hope this was uh, helpful um, If you have any questions, please let me know and uh, have a great day